Okay, so let's talk about it. So, I have surgery scheduled for July 6th. Today is June 21st. So, it's like a short two weeks away, give or take. And I'm going to J. Raphael 2002. So, I'm nervous. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm nervous, but I'm ready. And it's something I've been contemplating for years at this point like my kids are getting big i just turned 28 june 10th gemini's <laughs> shout out to y'all but this is something that i want to do for me it ain't to I, I hate the narrative that we do this for men when really i just i want to feel good when i'm on the beach i love the water i want to feel good when i'm in a two-piece bikini and i be hot y'all live in georgia i be hot i don't be wanting to be mindful of what I wear because it might show my gut or it might look funny or my stomach might stick out. I'm just, this is for me. This is treating myself, okay? And so, yeah, I am nervous. And the reason, like, first of all, J. Raphael has zero devs, okay? I did book a Blooming Recovery Home for, let's say, uh, 16 days. So I'm going to arrive at Blooming on July 4th. I have surgery July 6th, and then I stay at Blooming for 14 days. And I know people personally that went to Blooming. And also, I just, I don't know. So, hey, y'all, this is part two of my surgery with J. Raphael 2022 and Dominican Republic. So, it's two days before, and I have to correct um, my original clip because... I said I was staying for 14 days. I booked for 16 days. I am going to arrive two days prior and then I'll be healing up for the 14 days before I fly back home. I did book a one-way flight there and a one-way flight back through Delta Comfort. Um, you know, I just, like, I don't mind. I'm not one of the people who mind flying Spirit or Frontier and stuff like that, but for surgery, I just want to be comfortable. Um, now I did read in the little side notes for surgery that we're not supposed to have acrylics or piercings. I'm going to put a clear nose ring in here because y'all, my nose ring closes like this. So I'm not trying to get my nose pierced three different times. Um, I did go and get these. Oh, I did go get these. Um, they're not as, I thought, well, they look longer on here than they actually are y'all because they're short. But I did that because I can't imagine buttoning. If you get the girls who get acrylics, y'all know how thin your real nail is. So I did that, so I won't have no issue putting my faha. You know, like my nails is thin. So hopefully you won't trip about that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna also show you guys a couple of tips and things that um I'm using to prepare for surgery and then I'm bringing with me to the DR. I decided to take a suitcase. I'm taking a suitcase. Mind you, this is my first time traveling out of the country and I'm traveling to have surgery and I'm traveling by myself, but I got trust and faith. Everything's gonna be okay. I've claimed it, I manifested it, I've spoken it over my life, so everything's gonna be okay. And again, he has zero depth, so whew, I'm not gonna be the first or any at that, you know. Whatever. So I did buy me a suitcase. I wasn't gonna bring a suitcase originally, but I'm thinking about the trip back, flying home. I'm not gonna be wanting to carry something with a tummy tuck and a BBL. You know what I'm saying? So I got something I could pull and roll. So and I'm not taking nothing too heavy. You know what I'm saying? So boom. Um, I guess I'm gonna just bring some stuff. Okay, yeah. This is what I'm taking with me. I'm taking my. This is my back pillow for. My it, it came with my BBL pillow. So it's my BBL pillow, it's my back. I brought some white washcloths. I got me some towels. This is my lipo foam. Um urinals. It came with two. This is a BBL blow up bag. And I think this might come in handy. So I'm just you know, I'm gonna be prepared. It didn't come up, it didn't come with a a thing, but I'm sure I could find one at Walmart. I got some compression socks. This is a, a lipo board. I got some arnica gel for bruising and dial soap. I heard that this is good to use on. So I don't use this shit because it dry your skin out, but for surgery to stay clean and infection free, I'm off. These are the meds I'm taking: folic acid, vitamin C. I'm taking um, Mega Blood Bitter. You guys, if you have low iron, this is vegan. 
and you can take it on an empty stomach. It does not make you nauseated, and it will build your blood so fast. Mega Blood Builder. You can order it off Amazon. I did find this bottle because it's my second bottle. I found this bottle in Target. It was the last one left. So remember that Mega Food Blood Builder Iron Supplement. Y'all, it is the shit. One a day. I'm also taking some B12. So I'm keeping it simple. Just taking these and whatever the doctor's going to give me because I'm pretty sure I'm going to take a bunch of shit. Okay, other than that stuff, you guys, I am... Oh, I'm taking my own washcloths and towels. I bought um, a pink and purple towel, some white washcloths that I already had previously purchased. I got me some socks and I got some, a bunch of comfy stuff. Like I got a lot of like pajama dresses and like a robe, some slippers, slides. Like I took stuff that I know I'm gonna be comfortable in. and. From what I hear, Blooming is like, you know, it's giving low-key luxury, so. The, and it has a pool there, so the two days that I arrived previous, I'm just going to be meditating and manifesting um, a speedy recovery and a safe surgery, so. Um, subscribe to my channel, you guys. Um, I have a lot of bangers coming for you soon. Pink with the locks. Oh, also, I'm not... I'm going to do a light retwist, but I'm so glad I got dreads, y'all. I don't have to deal with too much <laughs> while I'm there. Like, you know, no braids, no nothing. I'll wrap this shit up and call it a day. Hello. Make sure y'all lock in and subscribe with me because I will be making more content about my before body and my after body, my experience there. And from me traveling there, getting through customs, everything. So, um, subscribe to your girl. And I'm going to give the real deal. I'm not, you know, leaving nothing out. I don't care because I want all of us to remain safe because we're doing something that's very dangerous. And we just want to look good. I'm a mom of two, you guys. So I just, they're big now. This is just a real treat to myself, honestly. Like, it's uh, it's my own personal, you know. my uh, I could say it's an insecurity because I like the water so much. And I just, it's th certain things I want to wear. And I refuse to like a fool wearing shit that don't fit my body. So this is just for me while I'm still young, you know?